What is going on guys, Blink here, and today I'm going to show you the best 3 free website builders. Anyways guys, let's get started. Wix is one of the biggest website builders you can find. Wix has over 500 free professional looking templates compared to other drag and drop website builders. The best part about Wix's templates is that they are already structured and pre-populated with content, which will give you a visual feel of how your website will look before you do anything with the template. You can simply pick your favorite template and replace the content with your own. So basically if you're not creative or good with designs, Wix's templates will work very very well for you as you won't have to struggle with creating your own page layout. Wix also has an awesome e-commerce platform, meaning you can sell digital and physical products with no fees, so you keep all your profits. Weebly is also a great website builder. The user interface is very comfortable to use, which is good for all levels of users especially if you're fearful of anything to do with technology. You can literally build a good website in a few hours. Weebly has over 40 preset page layouts for you to choose from to get you started. Changing the templates is also easy. With one click, you can change your existing content and transfer it to a new template. Weebly also gives you access to templates, HTML, and CSS code. So if you know any bit of code, you can customize the design of your website to the exact pixel. Jimdo is a pretty good platform. It has teams all around the world if English is not your first language. Then Jimdo is a good website builder to consider using. You'll be able to customize your site from the HTML and CSS code if you know how to code or are working with a coder. Now some things about Jimdo are that the templates are alright and if you want more premium looking templates you would need to subscribe to their premium packages. When compared to Wix or Weebly, Jimdo doesn't have the greatest website builder. It doesn't give you many options to edit the design of your website. However, if you can code, you can edit your design template to your likings, but that's only if you can code. Alright, so let's set up a basic Wix website. First click create your website and choose any category that your website seems to fit in. Next choose the Wix editor if you cannot code. Select a template and hit edit. Now you can edit any part of the website you want. Change the text anywhere you want or remove what you don't need. If you want to edit pictures, just double click on them and then hit add images. Now to edit the shop, click my store and then hit manage your store. You can choose to add any product you want. Add the name, the price, and anything else you would like to modify. Once everything looks right, you can hit the save button in the top right corner. Now just mess around with all the features to adjust your website to your liking. Now let's create a simple Weebly website. Once logged in, choose any template you want. Your pre-made site will be made. Set a domain name that you like and hit confirm. Now you can edit anything you want. So add some text for a title and then add a short description if you want. If you have added something that doesn't fit, simply hit the X and click delete. You can change the backgrounds if you want by double clicking on them and clicking edit background. Add one from your desktop or search for one, or you can add a URL which will do the same thing. If it looks good, you can hit the save button at the top. If you want to add some extra images, you can add a gallery to your website by dragging the gallery box onto your website. To add the images, double click on the box to select your images. When you're done editing, hit publish. It will ask you if you like the domain name once again, just in case you want to change it. If not, click confirm and click your link to check out how it looks. Now let's create a simple Jimdo website. When creating an account, you will be asked to choose a template first. Choose any template you like and it will ask you to add your new login info. Next choose any website name you would like and click check the domain. Your website will then be created. You can begin editing text and images. Now the editor isn't as great as Wix or Weebly, but it'll do. Resize images or add them how you like. To add a category, click add event and choose any category from the list. The website builder is sometimes pretty annoying to use, so I suggest you use Wix or Weebly if it gets too annoying for you. Well guys, this wraps up the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, just ask them down below and I'll be sure to answer as many as I could. Anyways guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to receive more videos weekly. Thanks for watching.